painting middle can intimidate a lot of artists, but I guarantee it won't intimidate you after you watch this video. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero We're here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better faster. All right, before we get going, I just want you to know, please, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions or things I didn't go over, let me know in the comments section. Also, if you need supplies, if you want to know what I'm using to paint these paintings and what I use to paint in general, all of the links to where I get my stuff is in the description below. So go down there, have a ball, highly recommend all the materials in there, and it's the, all the best bang for your buck. All right, painting metal. I remember back in the day when I first started paint metal, like it was one of those things I'd always see a metallic object or something. It seemed really, really hard. Um, you just see all these lights and reflections and darks and shapes, and you don't even know where to begin. Uh, you think you, once you start, you'll just get lost in all the different uh, shapes and colors and all that. And I'm telling you, the key to painting metal, the secret, uh, it's, it's really no different than the secret to painting anything at all. Uh, I don't really believe in learning to paint one thing. Like you'll see, you know, books and videos on there. How to paint this, how to paint that. And yes, I have videos on my channel that are how to paint clouds, how to paint trees, uh, but I'm really just doing that to kind of trick you into learning how to paint in general, and hopefully from those videos of specifically learning how to paint these certain things, you're going to take away basic concepts of painting that will allow you to paint everything. If you learn how to paint a tree the way I break it down, you will be able to paint a mountain you'll be able to paint anything because you're just learning fundamentally how to paint and how to see objects and break them down so with painting metal it is no different it is just breaking it down into its basic shapes and starting with the big shapes and going from there and this takes a lot of uh, practice to have the restraint to one take it slow and just do these, just see the big shapes. Um, the little trick I do is a lot of times I squint my eyes. I do that a lot with landscape painting. I do that a lot with everything. I just squint my eyes to just get rid of all the detail. That's what you wanna do. You get rid of all the detail and just see what are the big shapes and just paint those first. Just go from there. You know, don't worry about all the little details. Don't worry if there's a bunch of little shapes inside these big shapes. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to get down the big shapes first. And that's not only getting the shapes down drawing, but getting the uh, shapes down in the right color and value. And the way you're going to do that is by constantly comparing, by constantly laying down one shape and its color and its value, and then putting the one next to it and comparing, seeing you know how much lighter or darker the shapes are next to each other and you know, constantly tweaking and going back and forth. And the more you do it, the more you'll get it on the first go, but still, you know, it's perfectly fine to continuously alter the color shapes uh, and values as you paint. Value is also really important uh, with painting metal because you're gonna have a lot of different colors all next to each other and all these reflections and the values need to uh, work and be in the right value range for the whole thing to actually work. Uh, a little tip for this is putting your uh, reference photo in black and white and putting, uh, taking a picture of your, a thing to help with this is put your, have a version of your reference photo that you're working from in color and also have one in black and white that will help you see uh, exactly how light and dark these values are also dealing with value, you're gonna to have to understand where you are on the value scale. And not a, a big thing that happens a lot of times is people go to their brightest bright way too quickly and they go to pure white. Try the best you can not to use pure white. Um, I have some really bright, uh, very, very bright colors in this painting that I didn't use pure white. I don't think I used pure white on anything in this. And if, 
you're not using pure white, if you are, uh, you know, just doing a very, very light color, like I have a very, very light yellow, it's like probably my brightest value in this, and it's not giving you the, the metallic like pop that you're looking for, and it's not looking shiny, that's because your darks aren't dark enough, or your midtones aren't dark enough. The thing, what makes it look shiny and pop and sparkle is all the colors around it. Uh, so going back to constantly comparing your values and your colors as you go, if you are laying down a color that's very, very, very bright and should be popping and it's not, take a look at the other colors around it and that's probably where your problem lies. Well, I hope that helped you uh, feel more confident with painting metal. Again, just take it, big shapes, one shape at a time, one value at a time, one color at a time, and just get smaller and smaller and smaller, and you will be fine. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, see what I'm painting on a daily basis at Forza43. Uh, if there's questions about painting metal that you still have, please let me know in the comments section. If you have your own tips on painting metal, let me know in the comments section, share with everybody. Uh, if there's other topics on oil paint that you're struggling with that you want to know, please let me know. That's how I come up with ideas for these videos. Uh, also, if you need uh, any supplies, if you want to know the supplies that I have, that I use, that I use on this, it's all in the description below with links to where you can buy it. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.